once again welcome back to the math revision made meticulous video series topic probability today topic is total probability revision as the name suggests means looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series the steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer let us look back to the law of total probability let s be a sample space and a and b are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events associated with a random experiment for the for for the experiment we want all the mutually exclusive and exhaustive events connected with the random experiment that will be experiment number 1 we have to select all exhaustive events which are mutually exclusive and uh, there is a e is an event it is associated with both a or b then probability of the event e should occur is either it will follow a or it will follow b it will occur after a or it will occur after b now these two events a and b are mutually exclusive therefore by making use of the law of uh, addition of probability p of a e plus p of b e now this a e is nothing but a intersection e b is nothing but b intersection e a and e b and e but already we have seen that whenever two events are uh, having some connection then probability of a intersection e is p of a into p of e slash a similarly probability of b intersection e is p of b into p of e slash b now please recollect what is the meaning of e slash a probability of the event a knowing that a has occurred e slash b is probability of e knowing that b has occurred our first event we will have two or three mutually exclusive exhaustive events for the second experiment we will have only one event associated with this both a and b now here we have seen only two events for the first experiment suppose if you are having three experiment a b and c the same thing will happen we have to simply extend it if we say even associated with a or b or c it will be a e b e c e therefore a e plus probability of b e plus probability of c e therefore probability of a into probability of e slash a plus probability of b into probability of e slash b plus probability of c into probability of e slash c now we can generalize it suppose uh, we are having n events like that then it will be probability of the event associated with all the events of the first experiment is probability of the even into a slash even and so on now in the diagram also you are checking out that whenever you are doing the intersection of all this e1 e2 and so on and en you will get that capital s yes. and the event of the second experiment is associated with all the mutually exclusive and exhaustive events of the first experiment now if you do problem you can understand that but let us be before we go for that what type of experiments and what type of probability distribution question will be there to use this law of total probability now let us check out what are the experiments what are the probability questions first let us have ball and balls are drawn from one of the three or two given bags then it will be getting a particular color of the ball or ball or balls suppose you have three colors or four two colors or whatever may be in two different bags then two balls are drawn what is the probability of getting both red what is the probability of getting one red and one black what is the probability of getting both white like that suppose if you have transferred one ball from one bag to the other and then drawing from the second bag then the question will be getting a particular color the same thing will be there but in the first experiment it will be drawn from two different bags from the second experiment which we have discussed now ball is transferred and then drawn now sometimes you will be having a item produced by different machines and probability of production and defective known and item drawn at random please be careful these type of questions normally will come in base theorem also but if the question is on the probability of item which is defective probability of the selected item defective if they are asking we have to use law of total probability be careful therefore whenever it is a problem of bags given and balls drawn if the question is on getting a particular color of ball and balls we have to use total probability suppose if it is a problem involving item produced by different machines and the probability of defect is also known then if you are asked to find the probability of the selected item defective 
we have to use law of total probability let us move on to some questions now a bag contain four red and three black another bag contain two red and four black one bag is selected and one ball is drawn from the selected bag find the probability that the ball drawn is red here we have to identify the experiments of the first ex first experiment and the second experiment and the event of the first experiment and the event of the second experiment first experiment will have more than one event second experiment will have a event based on the question asked therefore there are two experiments selecting a bag and selecting a ball experiment number 1 selecting a bag it is very simple a is event of selecting first bag b is event of selecting the second bag some book will call even e2 it is left to you i am calling them as a and b now p of a is 1 by 2 p of b is 1 by 2 if three bags are given 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 good now we are having the first bag contain four red and three and second bag contain two red and four we are going to the second experiment drawing a ball but drawing a ball will have so many events but we will select that event which is asked in the question let e be the event of selecting a red ball because question is asked on red ball only therefore this e will be either it will be happening after the first bag is selected or the second bag is selected or i am writing it as ae or be already we have discussed it will be ae plus be probabilities therefore for the first one it is probability of a into probability of e slash a second one is probability of b into probability of e slash b once again let us recollect what is probability of e slash a it is probability of selecting red ball after the first bag is selected what is e slash b probability of selecting red ball after the second bag is selected that's all. very simple for what is p of a it is 1 by 2 p of e slash a means first bag 4 plus 3 7 therefore 7 in the denominator 4 red therefore 4 by 7 once again plus probability of b is 1 by 2 probability of e slash b means getting a red ball from the second bag two red balls are there therefore two in the numerator total six balls therefore six in the denominator therefore final answer is 19 by 42 let us move on to the next question transferring this is also a question of total probability a bag contain four yellow and five red another bag contain six yellow and three red one ball is transferred from first to second and then a ball is drawn first experiment is transferring second experiment is drawing find the probability that the ball drawn is yellow how many experiments are there there are two experiment transferring a ball and selecting a ball from the second bag now whenever you are transferring a ball then it will definitely affect the second experiment that is selecting a yellow ball what we are discussing now transferring a ball it will be transferring a yellow ball or transferring a non yellow non yellow means in this problem it is only red sometime if there are three different colors are there non yellow means the the other colors maybe red blue like that okay here let us find what is probability of a bag contain 4 plus 5 therefore it is 4 okay we have found probability of a that is transferring a yellow ball four yellow ball are there therefore 4 by 9 transferring a non yellow ball it is probability of b which is 5 by 9 because 5 red balls one red ball out of five one red ball is transferred five by nine both are happening in the first bag therefore four by nine and five by nine both are mutually exclusive and exhaustive all of you know when you add them you are getting one no issue let us go back to the uh, next idea that is p of a is four by nine p of b is five by nine first bag four yellow five red and second bag six yellow and three red let us see what is the experiment number two drawing a ball from the second bag let e is the event of selecting a yellow ball from second bag either it may happen after a or it may happen after b therefore ae plus probability of be probability of a probability of e slash a plus probability of b into probability of e slash b now let us recollect what is probability of e slash a it is selecting a yellow ball after a yellow ball is transferred what is probability of e slash b probability of selecting a yellow ball after a non yellow ball is transferred whenever you are transferring a yellow ball total number also increase number of yellow ball also increase simultaneously whenever you are transferring a red ball yellow ball total will be the same but total ball will increase let us see what is probability of a it is 4 by 9 what is probability of e slash a one yellow ball is transferred already six were there it was 6 plus 1 7 therefore 7 by there were nine total ball therefore it will become 10 therefore 7 by 10 once again if a red ball is transferred 
yellow ball total will not change therefore it will be only 6 in the numerator and in the denominator total change therefore it is 6 by 10. Kindly check out how the 7 by 10 and 6 by 10 came. It is because of a yellow ball is transferred in the first case and a non-yellow ball is transferred in the second case. When you do the simplification, it is 29 by 35. Question number 3. There are two bags. First bag contained 5 white and 3 black. Second bag contained 3 white and 5 black. Two balls are drawn. Previous questions we have taken only one one ball. Let us now take problem involving two balls. We have to use combination idea. Two balls are drawn at random from the first bag and put in the second without noticing it color. Then two balls are drawn from the second bag. Find the probability that the balls are white and black. It should be white and black. A CBSE question it is. Okay. Let us see what are the two experiments. Transferring two balls from first to second. Transferring two balls from the second bag. Now transferring two balls mean. Now remember whenever you are transferring two white balls or you can transfer one white and one black or you can transfer two black ball. Why we have taken all the three cases? Because of the event which is asked in the question. Find the probability that the ball are white and black. Therefore, we have to transfer both white and black. Whenever we are transferring it, you can transfer either two white or two black or one white and one black. Therefore, the first experiment, all the three exhausting events are to be considered. Don't simply take event of transferring two white ball and event of transferring two non-white. It won't serve the purpose in this problem. Well, now I have taken ABC. Now I have given you the content of the bags also. What is probability of A? White balls are transferred 5C2 by 8C2. Therefore, 5 into 4 by 8 into 7. Therefore, 5 by 14. Then probability of B is 1 white and 1 black. 5C1 into 3C1. Total possible cases are to be multiplied. Divided by the total cases 8C2. Therefore, the answer is 15 by 28. Well, probability of C is non-white. That is, two black balls are transferred over 3C2 by 8C2. Therefore, it is 3 by 28. But we are ready with P of A, P of B and P of C. Let us move on now. Now, we have to go for the experiment of the second experiment. That is, drawing two balls. Let E is equal to event of drawing one white and one black from the second bag. What it will happen? It may happen after A or B or C. Therefore, all are mutually exclusive. A E plus B E plus C E. Now, let us now once again recollect what is the formula P of A into P of E slash A plus P of B into P of E slash B plus P of C into P of E slash C. What is P of E slash A? Selecting one white and one black after two white bars are transferred. Be careful when two white balls are transferred. The number of white balls will increase. You have to remember. Probability of E slash B means selecting one white and one black after one white ball and one black ball is transferred. Be careful. E slash C is selecting one white and one black after two black balls are transferred. Whenever uh, do this, then you know that the number changes, then accordingly the number of balls also changes. Okay. Let us see. Once again. 5 by 14 is p of a what is p of e slash a it is selecting one white and one black after two white balls are transferred for white ball number will become 5 therefore 5 c1 into 5 c1 by 10 c2 let us see the second one second term 15 by 28 into probability of the event of transferring one white and one black from first back to second back is done we are now drawing therefore three white will become four white therefore 4 c1 5 black will become 6 black, therefore 6 C1 by 10 C2. Go to the third term, 3 by 28 into. Now, 2 blacks are transferred. Therefore, you have to, black ball will increase. Therefore, it is, you have to take 1 white and 1 black. Therefore, white ball will be only 3, therefore 3 C1. But black balls will become 7. 5 plus 2, 7. Therefore, 7 C1 by 10 C2. Now, you can simplify all of you know how to do the simplification. Uh, tan C2 is 10 into 9 by 2 into 1. For I am doing the simplification. I am showing you in a different color that uh, E slash A, B, E slash B, E slash C. Final answer 673 by 1260. Now you have to do the simplification. But try to simplify it very quickly so that the cancellations all you have to do it carefully. Good. 
Let's move on to question number four. In a bolt factory machine, A, B, C manufactured twenty five percent, thirty five percent, and forty percent. Output three percent, four percent, five percent are respectively defective bolt. A bolt is drawn at random from the prop from the produced. What is the probability that the bolt drawn is defective? Be careful. This same type of problem may reflect get reflected in base theorem also. There they will not ask about the probability of defective. Be careful. Okay, well let us now do it. Um, there are two experiments. Bolts are manufactured by machine ABC, identifying the defective bolt produced by the machine ABC. Experiment A manufactured by machine A, B event of bolt manufactured by machine B, C event of bolt manufactured by machine C. Here all these probabilities are given in terms of percentage. Therefore, let us take P of A as 25 percent, 2500. P of B 35 percent, therefore 35 by 100. P of C forty percent, therefore forty by hundred. For we are now ready with P of A, P of B, and P of C. Let us go to the second experiment that is uh, identifying the defective items of the output three, four, five percentages are respectively defective bolt. Therefore, let us take E as the event that the bolt drawn is defective. Over A E or B E or C E. Once again, A yes into E slash A. Probability of B into probability of E slash B, probability of C into probability of E slash C. Now, what is E slash A? Defective bolt is drawn is manufactured by machine A. E slash B means defective bolt is manufactured by machine B. E slash C is defective bolt is manufactured by machine C. It is already given as three, four, and five percentages. Therefore, it is three by hundred, four by hundred, and five by hundred. Put it in the formula. It is very simple. It is four fifteen by ten thousand. It is point zero four one five. Here, uh, no need to simplify the denominators uh, with the numerator so that you can take LCM and finish the problem quickly. Well, two thirds of the student in a class are boys and the rest are girls. It is known that the probability of a girl getting a first class is point two five, boy getting a first class is point two eight. Find the probability that a student chosen at random will get first class in the subject. There are two events once again. First experiment, boy and girl is chosen from the class. Second experiment, the selected student get first class in the subject. Let us go to the event of the first experiment. Selecting a boy or girl from the class. Event of selecting a boy. Event of selecting a girl. How to get the probability? It is given in the question. Two thirds are boys. Therefore, probability of A is two by three, and probability of B will be the rest, which is one by three. Uh, several times I told you in the first experiment whether it is A, B, C, D. So many events may be there. The sum of those probabilities should be one because they are all exhaustive events. Well, now let us go to the idea given. Probability of girl getting a first class is 0.25, boy getting the first class is 0.28. Experiment is selecting a boy. Event of selecting a student get first class. Either it may follow A or B. And uh, what is E slash A of the selected student who got first class is a boy. E slash B mean. The selected student who got first class is a girl. Now we can apply the uh, value now directly. We have it very clearly given there. Point two eight as a girl. Therefore two by three into uh, boy is point two eight. Therefore two by three into twenty eight by hundred. Girl is point two five. Therefore one by three into twenty five by hundred. For we can take one by three outside. For one by three into eighty one by hundred. Therefore it is twenty seven by hundred for point two seven. Here in this problem, probability is given in terms of wordings, and the probabilities of that e slash a, e slash b is also given in a decimal form. Uh, success is dependent on the effort. All the best. Thank you.